Hey guys, it's Marco again. I'm on a roll with these small tips video and two days in a row I'm making a TOTR video. First off, I want to say that when I said that intellect buff is the best, I meant it for my character. And I got to that point by using calculus. I'm a cave monster and I use paper, but the fastest and the most accurate way to do it is to do slash simc and copy it to advanced simulation on raid bots. Then under it, you should copy the text that I posted in the description. Then we can also increase the number of iterations that you want to run. Smart Sim is going to do a fine job. And then just press simulate and you will get this window nice and easy. But since I'm already making a video, I need to talk about two more points. First, I don't know why a big chunk of you guys, Frost Mages, is running Draven as a Soulbind regularly. Teotar is the best when you unlock all of his Soulbinds for solo targets, and Nadja is the second. When it comes to 3 target cleave, Teotar should still be better than other Soulbinds, then Nadja and then Draven, without even considering that you can lose the Draven's 5% intellect buff. AoE wise, Teotar still rocks, but this time Draven has bigger damage output than Nadja. But I could even say that Nadja is better since the simulations don't count that mobs are going to die and that you will get under 50% HP at some point. Last point that I wanted to touch is that technically you will offer bigger raid DPS if you run Teotar's Wasteland Propriety. Unless you're fighting Soul Render where you want to take Unrelenting Cold. Running Siphon Malice level 226 increases my DPS by 190 while Wasteline Propriety increases my DPS for 120. Siphon Malice level 252 increases my DPS by 230 damage. Considering that my versatility buff will go to 4 other DPSers with the same damage as me. Wasteline Propriety gives me about 360 DPS overall. Your overall ray DPS will increase by the fixed amount, but your personal DPS won't. No one tracks how much support DPS that you give to the raid, except maybe power infusions. And you're fighting for your own personal DPS log, and for your spot in the raid. Sadly, you don't benefit as much from Wasteland Propriety as a player as you do from Siphon Malice. That's why I recommend going for other potency conduit, since you don't want to give your other raid members DPS edge. If you are in a stable guild, you are all friends, plus you aren't a competitive spirit, then go for Wasteline Propriety. That's it for this video, I hope that you will like it. If you think that this was a big brain video, check out my Patreon page and look for some coaching. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.